dear students of class 10 welcome to my history class today i am going to teach you about the second world war there are certain points i am going to explain on second world war mentioned in the blank, uh, in the board and these points you please follow it one after one there are certain points Berlin Battle of Berlin first point second point atomic bombs at Hiroshima and Nagasaki third consequences of the war defeat of the Axis power and economic crisis now Battle of Berlin you know in the second world war Germany during its first half fought bravely and the range of war awakened the whole world. The lightning war of Germany defeated many powerful European countries. They could not face that attack of Germany. They fought, but they had to consider defeat. Why? Because of that reason, the battle of Germany captured many, many European states, European countries during the first half of uh, first half of the Second World War under the leadership of Adolf Hitler. And Hitler's German Empire, which was destroyed once after the Second World War, Hitler gained back it. Hitler gained it back, gained it back. And the battle to capture Berlin the north center of Hitler's German Empire began on April 19. During the last half of the Second World War, the position of Germany had become once again, in, the position had become once again weaker. And during that time, the Allied powers targeted Berlin. Berlin was the north center of Hitler's German Empire, Berlin was the north center of Hitler's Germany. Now the Allied powers decided to occupy Berlin. The process began on April 19, 1945. So Berlin was caught by Britain, France, America in one side and Russia in another side. On April 30, 1945, you know, Hitler in his underground bunker committed suicide. Now why was it? Because Germany during its first half of war gained back her former prestige and glory restored Germany to be a powerful nation of the whole Europe. And many majors suggested him not to continue war. The Allied powers also requested Germany and Hitler to stop the Second World War. But Hitler decided to keep on defeating European countries until, until he was forced to stop. So that situation came in front of him. He was forced to stop. How? By defeating Germany. The Allied powers defeated Germany. And the defeat of Germany under the leadership of Hitler was a great blow in the history of German nation. 
Hitler restored the former glory and image, but once again he had to lose it. Only because of his, because of his technical faults, wrong strategy. That's why Hitler committed suicide. Hitler was not prepared for it, but Hitler had to do it. Why? Because the whole nation, the people of whole Europe, the people of whole Germany, they neglect, they, you know, they uttered the name of Hitler as Satan because the satanic power of Hitler, you know, kill millions of people who are basically innocent. They were Jews because he did not believe the Jews and uh, held them respond and they, according to him the Jews were responsible for the First World War. They were responsible for the defeat of Germany in the First World War. That's why so many innocent Jews were killed in the concentration camp made by Hitler. That's why the whole Europe uttered the name of Hitler, uttered the name of Hitler, but not with respect, but with neglect. That means Hitler had become a neglected person after the on the eve of the Second World War was going to be over. That's why Hitler decided to, Hitler committed suicide. So it was a great incident in the history of the world. Once again, Allied powers won the battle and Hitler, Hitler's Germany, uh, you know, had to consider, had to consider defeat and Another important factor, what was it? You know, Germany, you know, Germany, no, not Germany, Japan. Japan was, Japan also committed one mistake. What was it? Japan threw, uh, Japan destroyed the Pearl Harbor the most important port of America. It was destroyed by Japan. It was a wrong decision of Prime Minister or uh, Premier Togo, Togo of, ja of Japan. About 3,700 Americans were killed. So America decided, America decided to teach Japan a good lesson. But initially, she did not want to uh, drop any atomic atom bomb on any cities of Japan. Initially, he warned Japan not to continue war, but to stop the Second World War. But Tojo kept on, uh, kept on, you know, uh, uh, continuing war. That's why Second World War was not. Second World War was going on only because of Japan's, Japan's, uh, you know, expanded uh, role and expanded policy. But at last, America, America, by, uh, by, you know, uh, throwing some pamphlets, warning Japan, that within that uh, month, month, either Japan would withdraw, either Japan would declare a peace and stop the Second World War, or Japan would be attacked by America. Japan would be treated a good lesson by America. Tojo did not believe it. and kept on fighting against those enemies who were who did not surrender before japan so america 
threw two bombs, first in Hiroshima and another one in Nagasaki. That incident forced Japan to withdraw and the Second World War ended. As soon as the Second World War ended, you know, the war came to an end. Japan was occupied by the, you know, Allied powers under General MacArthur. Below, you know, and when Japan was occupied by the Allied powers under General MacArthur and other important places, you know, of Japan also were occupied, the bombs which were dropped on Japan's Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it killed over 20,000 people, thousands of survivors of the bombings too died due to radiation, poisoning and many more were left crippled for life. So it was Japan whose wrong decision forced America to drop the two atom bombs. And next point, next point, the consequence of the Second World War. What were, what were the consequences? You know, the prolonged war left behind some important tasks. To understand the impact, they need to be analyzed more carefully. Number one, economic crisis. Number one, economic crisis. You know, at the end of the Second World War, once again, Germany came under the control of the Allied powers. Europe was a shattered continent. Extensive bombing had reduced bridges, factories, railway system and seats of government to a rubble within millions, within millions of able-bodied young men dead. Once again, the same picture was shown. The economy of the entire nations of Europe, different countries of Europe, you know, had totally, totally destroyed. The whole economy, the whole economic structure was totally destroyed due to the Second World War. These financial inputs, you know, had become a great loss, not only loss of properties, but people, people also. People had to sacrifice some more before life could move on. It was a period of rationing of prized resources such as food and, uh, you know, electricity. So Germany suffered, Germany suffered the most with most of its population dead or maimed and its cities reduced to symbols. So it was post-war Europe was divided into Western capitalism headed by USA and Eastern communism controlled by Soviet Union. These two economic ideologies were in shape in, were in sharp contrast to each other and opposed each other each in such a manner that the battle lines were drawn out in Europe. It was due to the efforts of the Allied powers. They occupied the most important part of Berlin, West Berlin, and East Berlin came under the control of Russia, Soviet Union. And it also proved, it also proved that the two powers, the two powers of Europe could become a part of new war, new war, that was old war, political tension, misunderstanding, distrust between these two powers, America, England, France in one side, and in another side, Russia was there. So this discontrust, this distrust, this contrast between these two powers gave a rise of a new war, the Cold War, means political tension, tug of war, 
between between the two powers, America and Russia. And afterwards, when weaker nations appeal, when weaker nations appeal to these two powers, both the two powers decided to establish their political and military control over there. So there was no scope of any diplomacy. There was no scope of any diplomacy, but establishing influence from political point of view, military point of view. They showed their militarism, their aggressive aggressiveness. As a result, once again, both the two countries, America and Russia, started armament race. And that armament race gave a birth of a number of, you know, number of states which who were weaker, both of them decided to establish their control over there by sending their troops in order to protect their sovereignty, both from the two sides, from America and from Russia. A number of soldiers were sent in different parts of Asia, Europe and Africa for the in the name of sovereignty, in the name of independency, in the name of independent rights of the citizens, in the name of protecting them as their well-wishers, as their well-wishers. So these were the most important consequences of the Second World War. Few points are left, my dear students. Next day, I shall continue. Thank you.